everyone. Welcome today. And today we are here talking about our rock star author. And he has written an amazing book, which is getting recognition from around the world. And we are here today to welcome Richard Gilliam. So hi, Richard. Thank you so much for joining us today. And Richard, please tell us about yourself and definitely about your book. We would love to know. Sure, sure. Well, again, um, thanks for, for the introduction. Um, again, so Richard Gilliam um, is my, Richard S.T. Gilliam is my full name. I usually go by Rich Gilliam, or I also have lately been going by Rich Innovated. So it's like Innovated, but with Rich in front of it. Um, but a little bit about myself. Um, I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, um, born and raised. Then I came to Raleigh, North Carolina, um, where I went to college at and studied biology at St. Augustine's University. Um, now I am currently a uh, robotic engineer. So, uh, you know, I have a cool job of, you know, putting together robots, um, coding them. So it's a lot of, a lot of fun. And um, so I really like, really like doing my job and I really like, you know, um, helping out, uh, you know, the youth that are interested in getting into STEM as well. Um, so with that being said, that kind of led me to, you know, wanting to create um, my book, Diverse in STEM, um, especially, you know, being from the, the inner city like myself, just wanting to see more diversity in the STEM field and seeing people like myself and getting into these cool fields. So, but that's just a little bit about myself. That's amazing. Studying biology and then moving to robotics. It's like, just wow. I mean, two totally <laughs> different fields and no one can imagine like a person from biology will move to robotic. That's amazing and impressive. And now yeah, I know yeah. why did you choose to write the book on STEM? Because you know everything and you know how to bring the best, right? Because you did for yourself. So Richard, we would love to know, can you please tell, talk a little bit more about your book and uh I know your book is doing great, is getting lots of accolades and lots of recognition from around the world, but I would love to know how many copies have you sold so far? Sure, sure. So Diverse in STEM um, has been doing very well. It released April 14th of this year, actually my birthday. Um, so there's been over about 500 copies that have been sold. Um, that's physical copies, um, as well as there has been uh quite a few um you know ebooks sold as well um actually my old one of my previous companies actually offered an ebook to every single employee um so the diverse system has been doing very very well and i've actually been able to you know travel to a lot of different cities around the US uh meeting different kids from around the, the US and just you know just showing in my book and actually doing some readings and just give, letting them see that face to face. So it's been amazing. That's that's amazing. 500 plus books, physical copies within like, you know, not even uh, like within six months approximately. And uh, offering your book to every employee in the organization, that's an achievement, Richard. Along yeah. with this, I know, I mean, you have achieved a lot so far you are doing great with your book but I'm really interested to know what did you do differently to achieve this because you know why I always keep uh, looking at people and hearing stories that oh my god can we to become successful with a uh, children's book with fiction book with uh, like you know these kind of books so how did you manage to achieve so much of success and uh, with your children's book. So what did you do differently? Yeah, well, you know, one of the top things, of course, is, you know, global book publishing, uh, just having their support um, on different marketing ideas, different marketing strategies on how to, you know, you know, just put uh, diverse and STEM out there. So definitely global book publishing has been, a, a you know, the, <laughs> the, the biggest push for me. Um, so I'm forever in gratitude and appreciation of everything that global book publishing has done for me. Um, as well as, you know, just being my authentic self. Um, I think people really connect with you more when you're just your authentic self. You can be vulnerable about everything that you've been through in life and where how you got in there. Um, so I feel like a lot of people just, you know, I'm are able to connect to my story and I actually want to support. 
Um, so really just, you know, putting in that work and actually, you know, putting myself out there, wanting to go to different events, traveling different events. Um, you know, it was a time that I, I did, uh, so I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and there was a time that, you know, I did a, I went to Philly for an event. And then right after I left Philly, I drove to Syracuse. So just different stuff like that, putting myself out there, being willing to, you know, get on the road and drive just to meet people that, you know, I never even met before that are impacted by my book. So just putting myself out there. That's amazing, Richard. That's amazing. And of course, I agree when you say you have to put yourself out when it's your book. You cannot imagine that I will write the best book on the in in this world and then everybody will come running to buy my book because I have written an amazing book. So it is important, guys, you're listening, you're hearing from someone who has done it right so if he is telling you got to put yourself there you got to put yourself there don't listen to me listen to him <laughs> so richard it's great to learn so many good things about your book so i know your book has gotten into the school system of ghana so i want to know i'm eager to know how did you do that how did you achieve that yeah yeah so just you know just the diverse and STEM to be even in Ghana and in a whole nother um, country has just been amazing to me and mind blowing. Um, so the story is just, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so actually, a family friend originally purchased uh, diverse and STEM from me and she really loved the book. Um, she bought the book and she bought it for her for her children as well. Um, so then she came back to me one day and she was saying, this uh, diverse in STEM is so amazing. And, you know, it's so much uh, information about STEM and it's very impactful. And she was telling me that she was doing a mission trip um, to Ghana and she would love to, you know, get some books that she can actually take to the school system within Ghana. So I gave her some some books. Um, and then, you know, after I she had the book, she went, actually went to Ghana and she took the books into the school system. Um, and then she told me that, you know, the children really loved the book. It was very impactful. Um, they actually learned a lot about uh, learned a lot about STEM. Um, you know, they actually were, you know, learning about a lot about different careers that they can do in the STEM. So it really was impactful to me and just really showed me of, you know, how impactful diverse in STEM actually is. Um, it also just showed me of, you know, me wanting to get my uh, diverse in STEM into the school districts within the U.S. as well. Um, so that's the next plan that I have is just, you know, working to working with local um, officials just to get diverse in STEM um, into the school districts and working on some curriculum. Having, you know, children from around the world being able to just see see my book has just been I, I mean, I've been, you know, I don't know. I've been like living outside of my body the past since since I've even heard about it and just seen the images. Um, it's just amazing. You know, I've always, you know. When I first decided to write Diverse in STEM, one of my biggest goals is what that I, you know, I didn't want to just have a U.S. impact. I wanted to have a global impact. Um, so actually seeing this happen so soon, I mean, the book just has came out in April and this is only November. So it's definitely uh, truly amazing. And I, I feel as though um, the, the work hasn't stopped yet. You know, this is just the beginning. Um, so this is this is good, but we got to keep keep pushing on. And um, I'm excited to what's going to come for the future from that as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, it's surreal because having seen those images, having seen the book in the hands of the children. Oh, my God, I got goosebumps, too. And I can imagine what it would have been for you. Right. Seeing that yeah. dream come true and within no time. So that's yeah. that's the beauty of doing it right. And I'm glad that you are there. So, Richard, it won't be complete if I don't ask you, what's your plan for uh, students of U.S. and Canada who are aspiring for STEM? So what are your plans so that you can achieve more, do more for the students here in U.S. and Canada? Of course, world as yeah. well. But let's yeah. focus on to U.S. Canada at present. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, my my goal is to continue to put in our content, um, you know, diverse in STEM. This amazing book um, is really just the plot of the entire series. Um, so I'm just going to continue to be putting out 
more content under the diverse and stem with the different characters um diving into more areas of of stem um that you know children might didn't even know they can go into as well as just them being able to see themselves in that and different characters based off of the different personality aspects um so it's going to be more you know more more traveling to more different cities that I haven't been to that I can, you know, have a face-to-face -face contact with different um kids from around the world. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what you can look from in the future very soon. Um, so of course we also have, you know, the hardback copy of Diverse in STEM um that will actually be releasing this year very, very soon. So stay, stay tuned. Um, which is we'll have some more activities in it and and get you ready for the um the next uh book as well so yes of course we are releasing the hardcover version of diverse in stem which is an advanced and premium version with lots and lots of pictures colorings images and activities so that your child can learn more about the different diversity that is around the stem and uh that is definitely a book which is coming this year before Christmas. And uh, yes, uh, that is a be beautiful news for all of us. And that is a great news for you guys as well. So stay tuned and you will learn more about the books and more, more great stories. Who knows? Our school system in U.S. and Canada and many, many other places in the world will have, have diverse in STEM in their curriculum. So thank you so much, Richard, for joining us and uh, talking about your book and uh, giving us insight about how you were able to be successful with your book. So what would be your message to people, writers, and aspiring authors who are working on their book right now, Richard? Yeah, you know, my message will just be, I mean, just, you know, kind of just be transparent and put myself out there about my story. You know, um, I've been, so I graduated uh, undergrad in 2015, and I've, I've always, you know, written like short stories and just been, you know, interested in, in writing and just using my imagination for different stuff. But, um, you know, I sat on my content that I had for, for years um, and then until like 2019, um, you know, I had a, a near death car accident. Um, and then after that, that accident just really just hit me. That was just like, you know, um, you never know the impact of the work that you have might can make on people that you don't even know around the world. Um, so one message that I would just say is just, you know, just keeping that why of why you're doing it and just understanding that, you know, I mean, it's not it's not easy, but um, you never know the impact of uh, your ideas or your work can make on someone that um, you don't even know. Um, and then I, I look at impact as a you know an exponent. So it's like if you impact one person, you're you know you're really impacting that person's whole family or even generation. Um, so just understanding that you know you're just a you're just a vessel, and then the work that you're doing could just impact way more people. So just always keeping that in mind when when times get rough when you get when you have that writer's block or you don't know where to go forward um you know I, I know when I first started um with my book and and we we came together with different ideas um I, I didn't know how everything was going to come all together <laughs> um I had I had a few ideas but you know sometimes you know the hardest thing to do is just to start but uh when you just put that key in the ignition and you start the car um it start it starts moving right so just just start. That's that's my one of the biggest things I would say. Just start and uh, go go from there and everything will all come together. Correct. It's very important to take action because as I always say, action takers are the change makers. Yeah. You have to take that leap of faith. You have to take that action to see the impact that you have, you can create with your book. So that thank you for for that amazing suggestion. I'm sure our listeners and our viewers have taken note of that. And uh, yeah, with that, thank you so much, Richard, for joining me today and sharing your uh, expertise and uh, sharing your amazing, amazing advices with advice with us and uh, giving our viewers and our listeners ideas on and 
confidence on what is possible when you do a book right. Thank you so much, Richard. I hope you and I wish you great success. And guys, a lot more is coming. We aren't stopping at just diverse in STEM. We are going all in with a lot more. So stay tuned with that. Thank you so much for watching this today. This is Sushmita from Global Book Publishing, and we will talk to you very soon. I will talk to you very soon. And thanks again, Richard. Bye, everybody. Thank you.